Thank you for the tips. Appreciate it. Gingerbread house can be a really nice addition to your Christmas decor or maybe just something fun to do with the kids. But for many, it's pretty time consuming. Uh, yeah, and then you, you're not happy with your results because they don't come out as good and looking as some of these. And then you don't really eat it, right? Because <laughs> everybody's touched it. It does not have to be. You can go out live to the Four Seasons Resort in Scottsdale, which is where Tess is this morning. She is going to learn how to make your own perfect gingerbread house, or maybe we'll just go and look at the pros do it. Hi, Tess. <laughs> Hi guys, I don't know about you, Olivia. I know when you make one with Nate, but mine, they all cave in, they break apart. So that's why Chef Land's gonna give us some tips in just a moment. But first, how can you not be inspired by looking at these incredible gingerbread houses? Some of them are two story. We've got cabins, we've got townhomes. We've got a little bit of everything, even an entire wall of gingerbread bricks. Look at this carousel. Some of the amazing works of the pastry crew here at uh, Four Seasons Resort, Scottsdale at North. So executive pastry chef Lance says you too can make something this beautiful. Are you sure we can do this? Oh, everybody can do this. <laughs> well, thanks for having us out. Let's begin with having the right uh, uh, people buy the ones already assembled or some ones that are already pieces, but you can make yeah. your own from scratch. Yeah, absolutely. I've been making them for a long time and you can kind of see that we've gotten a little pretty good at it. <laughs> um, but if you want them to take one on this year, uh, I'll give you a couple of tips to kind of make it a little bit more of a positive experience and okay. really fun with kids. Okay, very good, because we don't want anyone frustrated. You say first off, you, once you make the gingerbread, you get a good recipe. Uh, you have actually a pattern to follow. Yeah, so, so you're going to use your templates. Um, what I start off is when you make the dough, put it in the refrigerator. If it's really cold, it's going to be really nice to cut out. If it's fresh and warm, it's going to pull a little bit more, and it's going to be a little bit more frustrating. Okay. So uh, what, what I also do is if you, if you cut it with a knife, it tends to pull more. So I cut it with a pizza wheel, which kind of pushes down, and it keeps all those pieces right in place. So when you go to assemble those later, all those walls are going to touch really nicely, and that they're going to... They're going to go together really well. All right. You're already blowing me away with these tips. Like, who wouldn't do Why didn't we think of these things? So, we get them done. I want to know why you have this cheese grater here. Absolutely. So, when you when you have your gingerbread pieces, they're baked good. So, it's going to move around. And it's going to, like, when you go to put that together, it's not always going to fit exactly right. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have enough points of contact on there, it's gonna that's going to be where it falls. That's down. why mine collapses. Uneven sides. Exactly. So, everybody's got a box grater at home. What you want to do is you want to flatten that off and then when you come back in, you're wow. going to put your icing on that and it's going to hold together so much better for you. Okay, that tip, amazing. Haven't heard of that either. So now you say you've got to really assemble in parts. So you've got to assemble it really in two steps. So think about it as, as the walls and the sides first. Okay. So you take right where you've kind of sanded it off and you can do this with those... Um, you can do those with the uh, the um, kits. Okay. I forget what it, yeah, I've, they I've, already have them all I, I, made, so it's pretty easy, never, but shave them anyway. Yeah, I've never used one of those kits, but I've heard that they're not exactly the most even. So what you can do is you can get that on there. Uh, okay. I like to assemble with the face down. Okay. And then come back, and then you're using gravity. Again, we try to build it standing up, which is a big no-no because it falls apart. So once you've got all the sides up, which you did here, you actually let this sit for yeah. two hours? So you can you could take it like this. If it's a small one, you can put it up. But think about it like you can go watch your favorite Christmas movie or you Perfect. can go shopping for all the decorative things okay. uh, that you have. But if you go to put the roof on right away, it tends to move around a little bit and that's usually when they fall over. So we do the roof last. All right, before we go, real quickly, let's take a look again at some of these. And Chef Lance, you guys have an awesome... Santa is everywhere, and he even come, he comes here because on every Saturday, you have a festive brunch with Santa. Yes, Santa comes every Saturday at our Proof Restaurant inside the Four Seasons from 9 to 1 o'clock for our festive brunch with Santa. It's a lot of uh, themed breakfast items. Kids get bottomless hot chocolate. It's a really fun event that we're doing all the way to Christmas. Love it. All right, so there you go, guys. Some great tips from the one and only pastry chef here at uh, Fair... Uh, uh, <laughs> Four Seasons. Whoops! I was trying to bring some candy, but we just spilled some. And then you can just eat the candy. 
as well of placing them and decorating. <laughs> oh, I know that's what Javi and uh, I, get I know it. Scott, you'd be eating the candy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course I would. Scott, did you get all those instructions? Olivia I did. And I are gonna yeah. Send the kids I'm, over. See, that's only a mile from my house. I'm just going over. <laughs> yeah, let's go over there. They know what they're let's doing. Let's have a gingerbread decorating contest. That sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. Decorate one. Any excuse to run over. I'll to the work on season. that. I'll take it. Thanks, Tess.